Have you ever wondered what the best tracksuit is? In my opinion, the Nike Tech Fleets and the Ralph Lauren tracksuit are the best tracksuits. From looks to comfort, they are both perfect. So in today's video, I'm going to compare them. Disclaimer, I prefer the V Season Nike Tech compared to the newest model. So for the purpose of this video, that is the one I'll be comparing to the Ralph Lauren tracksuits. So let's start off with the best point to make. What one looks better? They are both very clean tracksuits and obviously the V Season Nike Tech Fleet stands out a lot more compared to the Ralph Lauren trackie. I personally love both looks and as I have both, being able to switch from this loud tech fleets to the Ralph Lauren every once in a while is a nice way to let everyone know you're not that out there guy who always wears techs all the time. But the thing with the V on the Nike tech is that, well, everyone knows it's a Nike tech. Like, even the Discord mods probably know what a Nike tech is, but they probably don't know what the Ralph Lauren tracksuit looks like. If they don't know what the Ralph Lauren logo looks like, which is very hard, I you, you get my point, you get what I'm trying to say here. The reason why the Discord mods would know what a Nike tech fleece is as well is because Nike techs are a lot more accessible to the public in terms of how much Nike actually stock of the tracksuits and the price compared to the Ralph Lauren one. But obviously tracksuit fanatics like me would recognize the Ralph Lauren one straight away. That's really mad that I'm calling myself a tracksuit fanatic but I genuinely am. I can literally tell what any brand someone is wearing from doing this as a job and it's kind of sad. Unlike the Nike tech, the Ralph Lauren doesn't have a zip on the arm but then again all the other Nike techs don't have a zip on the arm so actually I'm not going to factor this point in. Let's just forget the zips even there and just rate the looks. But both do actually have a zip back pocket which is extremely useful. I don't know about you guys but I always find these zip pockets really useful on tracksuits like when I'm going to places like London or a theme park and the reason why is for some instances in London, you might get robbed, especially if you're wearing the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. And when you're at a theme park, I don't want my phone flying out of my pocket. The fit of these tracksuits are extremely similar. However, I'm going to go out there and say that the Ralph Lauren tracksuit is actually slightly baggier the, the Nike Tech. I'm not complaining. I would be complaining if it was tighter than this Nike Tech because that would just be super tight. But the Ralph Lauren tracksuit has drawstrings. If you guys don't know, I've always thought that drawstrings on tracksuits look so clean. And the fact that they're really good quality makes them even better. So that will factor into my rating. But based off of all of these points, I'm going to give the Ralph Lauren tracksuit a 7 out of 10 and I'm going to give the Nike Tech an 8.5 out of 10. There's a lot more going on on the Nike Tech, so that's what I think sets it apart from the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. Now, this is going to be a a really quick one. Durability. Which tracksuit lasts longer? Well, I can tell you right now without hesitation, the Nike Tech Fleece. I've had some of my techs for years and they are in the exact same condition as to when I bought them. They don't really shrink in the wash, neither does the Ralph Lauren, and the Nike Tech Fleece from my experience doesn't really bobble from washes like the Ralph Lauren tracksuit does. Like the Ralph Lauren tracksuit, I have bobbles a lot. I don't actually know whether this has anything to do where I bought the tracksuit from. See, I bought it from the Ralph Lauren outlet in Gunworth Keys, so I don't know if it actually has anything to do with that because obviously it's a much cheaper price of the outlet, but I'm just going to assume it is because I feel like that would be the reason why. I think I actually got it for around £180. It was quite a while ago and the retail nowadays is £320. So you can imagine some bougie Don paying the full price, £320, washing it the first time and then wondering and, and it bobbles a lot and then he's wondering why he's paid the £320 for the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. Why he spent £320 on something that bobbles after two washes, you know? I don't really know how all the outlet systems work, but I think I've got something right in saying what I've just said. But I mean, hey, the bobbles have only appeared in the pockets, waistline, and the rear crotch of the bottoms, and there are none on the hoodie. But overall, guys, going back to the Nike Tech, it's the most durable item of clothing I've ever owned in my life. So for that, I'm actually going to give it a 10 out of 10 rating. I'm going to give the Ralph Lauren one a 7.5 out of 10. Before we go any further, guys, subscribe. The subscribe button is literally lighting up as I'm talking about this. And if you press it, a really cool animation will happen. Don't be lazy. Press the button for free and have a look at the animation. And turn notifications on so you do not miss the next time I upload about UK streetwear and fashion in general. Guys, on Monday the 12th of February, I'm going to be live streaming Five Nights at Freddy's and I'm going to be trying to complete the 420 mode. I've already done two live streams on the game and quite a lot of you have been watching consistently. They're a bit of a laugh and pretty funny. It's going to be really difficult for me completing 420 mode the first time. Set a reminder on your phone now. I've really enjoyed doing them with you guys and it's just a nice way for myself to be able to communicate with you all. And then in the coming future, I am going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 for the first ever time. I've literally never played it in my life. And just quickly guys, smash a like on this video if you want to see me rate the Nike Tech Fleece to the Adidas SST tracksuit next. But anyway, let's get onto the functionality of each tracksuit. In total, the Nike Tech has six pockets and the Ralph Lauren tracksuit has five. This is because the Tech has a zipped arm, however, both of these 
these tracksuits have a zip pocket at the back. Now, I did talk about this earlier, but I want to do a deep dive now into a zipped pocket. What am I actually doing with my life? The Nike Tech Fleece has a huge zip pocket, which can literally fit anything in. You could put a toaster in there. This is so good, and the design of it's pretty nice as well. However, the Ralph Lauren tracksuit is a tiny zip pocket. I can fit my ID, my credit card, my AirPods, my keys in there, you know, but nothing else. You wouldn't be able to fit a toaster in there, and you wouldn't even be able to fit your phone in there, unless you're from 2013 and have an iPhone 5C. So that's not great in my opinion. But hey, I guess it keeps my credit card safe, which is the main thing that I'm worried about losing. Now here's a big plus to the Ralph Lauren tracksuit over the Nike Tech. When you're wearing the Ralph Lauren tracksuit, it doesn't actually get that hot like with the nike tech i find myself getting really hot and if you guys know this channel i don't actually wear like the nike tech fleece with a coat over the top because it just gets too hot but with the ralph Lauren one i actually do wear it uh, wear it underneath a coat but personally i usually wear a, like a full tracksuit without a coat or anything in between the spring and winter time just because i feel like that's the best temperature to just wear the full tracksuit outside and the ralph Lauren is really good at just keeping you at a perfect temperature in that time period the nike tech fleece makes you a, a bit too warm. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but I can start sweating in this tracksuit in that winter and spring in between time. And like I said, I would definitely never wear a coat over a tech fleece because that would just be like even more sweat would be produced then and that's not it. I count this as a bad thing. I know some of you would probably count this as a good thing if you, if you do feel the cold a lot, but nah, not for me. The zippers are both great. However, the Nike Tex one just edges the Ralph Lauren one as it actually looks better in my opinion. And I found it easier to do up the tech zip ever so slightly compared to the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. I never used the drawstrings on the Ralph Lauren hoodie, but I guess some people actually would. So I'm going to count that as a plus. I'd never go in the uh, gym with these two tracksuits on. I personally see them more for leisure wear and I'm sure a lot of you see that as well. But I have seen people wear techs and I've actually seen more of the Ralph Lauren tracksuit being worn in the gym. But like I said earlier, I already get hot in the Nike tech. So if I wore it to the gym, then that would it'd be game over. Anyway, I need to rate these tracksuits. So in terms of functionality, I'm going to give the Nike tech a 9 out of 10 rating. I mean, they're both not dysfunctional, are they? But you get what I'm trying to rate here. I'm going to give the Ralph Lauren one an 8.5 out of 10, just due to the back pocket being smaller than the Nike Tex. Now, my friends, are the tracksuits worth the price tag? Obviously, the Ralph Lauren tracksuit is the pricier option, and I do actually prefer the Nike Tech, which comes in at £220. And I personally usually only buy tech fleeces when they're on offer, so that would make them around £160 to £180. And for that price, I'd say they're extremely worth it. You're getting a tracksuit for life, like I promise you it is for life for such a great price. Price, and it's such great quality. The Ralph Lauren one rating in price wise is quite difficult because I got it from the outlet. But for the outlet price, I'd say it's worth it. I'm not going to give them a rating for this subsection. I'm just going to say yes, they are both worth it in terms of their price. However, if you're planning to pay full price on the Ralph Lauren tracksuit, just maybe try and get some sort of discount because 320 pounds is crazy in my opinion. Watch this video next because I found out where to buy old season Nike tech fleece. If you don't want to watch that, then maybe watch this video where I take a look at the best sneaker of 2024.